All right, guys, it's that time again. Time for some more Hungry Man. Satisfy your craving. Oh yeah, today's selection, homestyle meatloaf with creamy mashed potatoes, savory brown gravy, and mixed vegetables. Also including a chocolate brownie. Oh, brownie. Yep, that's right guys, Hungry Man. We're gonna be taking a look at that today. And because I like to take it that one step extra, we're gonna be taking a look at conventional oven directions, preheat oven to 350, check. Remove film from brownie, cut slit in film over vegetables and potatoes. And let's see, place bacon tray 40 to 45 minutes. Oh my God. Careful, remove, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And unlike the banquets, we don't have it slapped over with advertising gaming, gaming endorsements. So I'm not going anywhere.com to enter this code. Anyway, I hope these taste good. I've never had a bad experience really with a hungry man, so let's give her a try. Oh. Boom. Yeah. There we go. There's the home style meatloaf. These look like really tiny patties. Mixed vegetables and the chocolate brownie mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh yeah. And like it says, and we're going to grab the big ass butcher knife. We're going to be cutting a slit over the vegetables. Cutting a slit over the potatoes. So I'm just going to cut it over here actually. Ooh. and to cut the film off around the brownie. Done. So yeah, and because guys, I don't like you missing out on anything, we're gonna take the handy dandy tray, throw it on the tray, and now we're gonna pop it into the oven. Oh, heat blast. Yeah, and we're gonna see it and 40 to 45 minutes. I'm just gonna hold the button down. Come on, faster, damn it. 40, oh, 40 minutes exactly. So yeah, guys, sit back, relax. We'll be back in just a few minutes, or just for you, just a few seconds, to enjoy some yummy, delicious, hungry man. All right, guys, it's that time again. It's time for hungry man. Oh, I gotta turn that. I gotta turn it off. Turn it off. Stop making noise. Alrighty, guys. Let's take a look. Oh, doesn't that not look good? Looks a lot better than any of that other stuff we've been doing. Hell of a lot better than Kid Cuisine. And only 50, like, I think like 75 cents more than a Kid Cuisine. This was uh, $2.50. So, I cannot beat that. Looky there, that steam just coming off of there crazy like that. Potatoes, gravy, meatloaf, corn. How can I go wrong with this? Tells me to let it sit for two minutes, but when has that ever stopped us? So, we'll try the potatoes first. Mmm. Let you guys get a close up of that. Looky there, mmm. You can definitely tell, I hate to say it, that's a higher quality potato right there. Compared to those banquets, those banquets were like horribly runny and didn't really have any taste whatsoever. Nice. And it's really good with the gravy. Now let's take a look at the uh, the corn medley that we have here. It's like some sweet corn, some carrots, some green beans. Mm. Let's take a look. Nice. Yeah, again, much better than uh, the banquet vegetables that we've tried. The corn's got a sweet texture to it. 
It's all got a nice crunch to it. The carrots taste great. The green beans, I don't know if you could really call them green beans. They were once a green bean. The green beans are okay. We got this nice looking chocolate brownie right here. Mmm, chocolate brownie. Oh, we can't eat that yet. We gotta we gotta try the actual thing that it's named after. The meatloaf. Let's give that a try. Really fucking hot. Of course right out of the fucking oven. Oh man. Tender. It tastes great, especially without having to add any salt or pepper to it. Um, I mean, you can tell this is just like a foreign meat patty, but the the quality of meat is a lot better than like those banquet meatballs that we tried. We're going to try it with a little bit of the mashed potato. So yeah, yum on that. All right, we're batting three for three so far. Now it's time for our dessert. I'll break that brownie open. It's got a really top, tough top layer. Hopefully you guys saw the steam escaping on that. And we're gonna give that a try. Really hot. Um, gooey. The top is crust. It's got like a crust, or at least the crust is formed on the top of it. So you can definitely taste that. Um, I don't taste like an overabundance of chocolate, but I mean, yet again, I really don't know if I can really taste the chocolate itself. It's definitely a sweet pastry. You can tell there's sugar in it that's intended to be sweet but I can't really taste the chocolate brownie that they're going for but yeah yeah that's okay so far they've had three wins and I'll say that that was a uh, I don't know what that is but it, it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't necessarily good. It was moderate. So I will say that this is a win. It's definitely worth the money I paid, especially if you just want a cheap meal. It did take a long ass time though, 40 minutes. But it did have a five minute range on it. So I could see this tasting not as good coming out of the microwave. Or at least maybe not getting necessarily all the same textures that I'm getting. But overall, it's pretty good. I'll give this a 3 out of 5. The only negative was the brownie. I, th I think they can do better. I know they can do better. And they have done better. But just not good on that. So yeah, yum. Well guys, yet again, leave comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, what should I review next? Um, you name it, I'll try to review it. So yeah, enjoyed this. Uh, we're going to try some more stuff later on down the road. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you all next time. Peace.